Hey guys, they're here, so I wasn't expecting to make this video this early, but here we are talking about how to run Steam VR games on the Oculus Quest with the 6DOF, so positional tracking, and also the controller tracking. What does it mean? Well, that you can play Skyrim VR, Elite Dangerous, Fallout VR, Contractors, Pavlov, Onward, and many, many more. Of course, you're gonna need your PC as well and just streaming over the Oculus Quest. So without further ado, let's get to this guide. Okay, so here we are. And just to make it clear, this is not gonna install the SteamVR apps on your Oculus Quest. What you're gonna do, you're gonna just stream the content via Wi-Fi to the Oculus Quest, also the positional tracking and also the tracking on the controller. And so you're gonna be able to play those games directly. So what you need is of course a PC powerful enough to play Steam VR games and at the same time a good connection with a Wi-Fi router that at least 5 GHz and of course an Oculus Quest and the software that we're gonna need right now. So let's switch to the computer and what we have to do right away is to go to this website is riftcut.com so this is the application that we're gonna use now there are also other applications but uh, this is the first that arrived so uh, let's go over and install it it will cost some money um, but there's also the trial for five minutes so don't worry about that and what you can do is just download the software right now i have it this version since the oculus go because i was using it in there uh, so that's why I bought it and here we are so uh, I already installed it but um, here we have the exe what you have to do at this point it will be just to install it on your PC right away super super easy and and then we're gonna go to this page over here where there's all the explanation about everything so you can follow the guide but of course we can do it together because we're making a video about it so everything's gonna be in the link below like this link over here and what you have to do first is of course to follow the guide that we did the other day and then to download the APK for the Oculus Quest over here here we download it once it's downloaded we have to transfer it to the page where we have ADB installed. So what we have to do is to connect now the Oculus Quest to the PC that we have everything downloaded and installed. Uh, here's not responding. So what we have to do as always is to go on the command prompt and then to write ADB devices. So we recognize our Oculus Quest over here, then CD and the position of our ADB on our computer. So we copy the address over here and we put it there. So we are in the ADB folder and then ADB install. And again, we take our folder and we copy and paste or we just write again the name of the application. Now it's going to fail because I already installed it, but yeah, we are pretty much done already. That is not bad at all. In exactly and then at this point what we have to do is super easy you just click on the application mind by the way that steam VR has to be installed already because this one is gonna use steam VR so if you have some games and stuff like that well you can find it right away there are some also like uh, free games on steam VR if you want to try like or thunder or rec room even if it's in the quest too but it's a different version so here we are in this page and now it's seeking for the connection so what you have to do is to grab our oculus quest and use it here we have all the options by the way that you can change we can uh, put an higher resolution but really depends on the speed of your router because if your router is not fast enough it's better to keep the quality a little lower that means that you have gonna have some compression in the file when you see the stuff inside but at least it's gonna be more usable so uh, we get in the oculus quest uh, let me put my controllers in if you like this thing i'm gonna make a video very very soon are super nice and here we are in steam vr as you can see the controllers are tracked and have positional tracking without any problem as you can see also fps vr is working and yeah I have positional tracking also for my ad without any problem 
and what you're gonna see anyway are the Steam VR controllers, as you can see, and then you can go in the menu and just start the game that you want without any problem at all. So, um, for example, the, the big game that many people are asking, and I'm asking, to be honest to myself, if I can play it, is actually Siren VR. So let's see if it works. And here we are in Skyrim VR on the Oculus Quest. This is impressive. This is impressive. Look at that. You can go around. You can use your bow. And And yeah. You have the full game over there. Of course, you have to buy it, but this is working. This is really working on the Oculus Quest. Let's do this. We have some compression, as you can see. I feel, I think this is a wrap. And here we have it guys, as you can see, you can play pretty much all your games in your Steam VR library. And also if you want to play Oculus games, well, you can just install Revive, that is an application I'm gonna leave the description below to play the Oculus games on the Steam VR library. So you use the Oculus software there as well. It's very, very interesting. The only thing that of course we have the Vive controllers instead, maybe in the future, we're gonna be able to emulate the Knuckles. Uh, we don't really know. We will see in the future how these applications are gonna evolve. This is not the only option, but it's the first option to arrive. There's also ALVR, there's a free application that probably is gonna be updated in the future, like we said in the last video. And that could be very, very interesting. Now, talking about it really seriously, is this gonna substitute your Oculus Rift test, your HTC Vive, or your um, Vive Pro, your Odyssey Plus, your Lenovo, or whatever headset you have? Uh, well, no, actually not. Uh, this is, yes, wireless, but at the same time, the resolution will never be the same like an headset that runs natively on your PC. Well, here you have a 5 GHz connection that connects the Oculus Quest to the PC and is really suggested to have a powerful router and very close to the area where you're playing to have the best experience overall. But if not, you're gonna have to lower down the details. So far, by the way, it's impressive that we can do it and it's an option that we have so far. But if you wanna play just PC VR games, well, it's much better to just go for a PC VR headset and not really the Oculus Quest just for that. The Oculus Quest has a lot of potential as a standalone system and it's amazing and many games are already there. And I have to say that it's just better to play those games if they're made on the Oculus Quest on the Oculus Quest and not using the streaming on the PC. For example, a Beat Saber where the tracking and the fact that you have a little latency will never keep up. For driving simulators and stuff like that where there's no much head movement, well, uh, that could be actually a nice option, but still, a native resolution on an headset will always be better. But anyway, guys, let me know if you're interested in this thing. Are you gonna do it? What game would you like to play first? Let me know in the comment below. And for now, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.